Hi everybody, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay, and, and we, we are Paro DJ, DJ, and it's cruise day again. Finally! Y'all, we cannot I mean, express. Again, you know. <laughs> I know. We just got off the adventure of the seas not too long ago, but we're going on the Carnival Horizon today. Carnival. We're in Oh, I was gonna say we're in Miami. Yes. That's it. So no, but it's the 4th of July. It is. Oh, yes. And Carnival's red, white, and blue, and we're leaving on the 4th of July. I think it's just meant to be. And mm. it's the first sailing out of Florida for Carnival ships. So That's true. It's like monumental, really. Did, did they theme that perfectly or what? <laughs> red, white, and blue on the 4th of July? Amazing. Anyway, um, we're the hotel we're staying at, they offered shuttle service, but they said they're not doing it because they couldn't get their vendor contracts back. So we're going to grab like an Uber Lyft yeah. over to the port and roll out. Yeah, and we got a 10.30 check-in. Yes, earliest slot you can get. We're excited. I know, right now they're not doing the, the Diamond Platinum Suite stuff. Right. We did a whole Protocols video with all that stuff in it. So anyway, but we're gonna get this adventure started. Yes. Roll out. Come with us. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. at Port Miami. So we've got that 10.30 a.m. slot. Just got here, I see the line. So we're just gonna join the line and here we go. And actually they are ready with the 10.30s. Oh my gosh, all right. No recording in the terminal, so we'll see you on the other side. John Heald and Christine Duffy, they've been having some microphone issues, but they were trying to give us some words of wisdom. Oh, Arnold Donald there too, I believe. Hey now. Well, they have gone and found a wired microphone, which they have somehow dropped the cord. I guess maybe the plugs are in the floor or something, but you know what? We're gonna get this speech one way or another. Nope, okay, that one didn't work. with just one look. Oh, fancy. Look at all the happy, happy, fun people. Thank you. It's our first Skyway in like 15, 16 months. I can't believe it. I see she's gonna get her little happy feet warmed up here. We're just one turn away. Warm them up. Now John Heald has requested that everyone, when you get on board, rip those masks off and go yippee. So we'll see. How much yippeeing happens? Oh man, she got stopped short. Oh my gosh, that is the best happy dance ever.
getting the exercise in already. Woo! Now that I'm winded as anything, we live on deck six actually by here by the IMAX. What are you gonna see? In the Heights. Okay. We are totally seeing a musical on here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, so some movies are $5.50. Oh, I see. The actual big name movies are like twelve ninety five. dollars Maybe they don't have in the Heights. Ooh, it's all well. advertised. So we are midship. Oh, D is having a midship skip. I skipped the whole time. Wow. I'm excited. Whew, all right, we have made it to our room. It's time for a room tour. Yes. A warm, a warm, the room's not warm, but I'm warm. So let's get to it. So we have our emergency instruction notice on the door, and then we'll spin around. All right, let's start with the closet. Just kidding, what, why is there light coming into our cabin? What's even going on? We got a balcony. So we booked oh. this pretty last minute, and I'm a travel agent, a travel advisor, and um, Carnival so kindly offered like amazing travel agent rates. This was less expensive than an interior. So yeah. we snapped yeah. it. We normally just do budget, you know. You just, know us. Just frugal but we splurge actually well, we didn't splurge <laughs> we just made this choice this so is true so excited y'all we are going to be living this balcony <laughs> like we're on here for 14 days all right let's we'll look at the balcony later let's do the rest of the room tour first okay first things first we do have three well it's technically two closets but there's three doors oh no it is three separate closets got your hanging slot there little bar now people have told me a little tip is that this bar should fold up if you don't want it here it looks like it does but um i don't know if i can figure all that out right now closet next door also for tall hangy things we've got a floor length mirror so we can check ourselves out third closet has shelves and a safe what is that security guide and port directory okay laundry bags if you want to do the pay laundry service and some more drawers this should be our little refrigerator. I could put myself in that refrigerator right about now. Mm. Phone, we did pre-order water to the room. We ordered two 12 packs, so I'm assuming this out here in front must be the equivalent of a 12 pack. Oh yeah, and then they do actually have our complimentary water. Oh, no, that's the ones that you buy, that's right. So this we bought, that we haven't. Little shelves here for storage, nice vanity area, big TV, nice fluffy bed. You think it's cozy? Yes. I it hope looks so. amazing, and I'm so excited. <laughs> this is where they keep their D's, but you've already we seen that. Couch. I know. That's I what I love about couch. ocean views and balconies and things like that. We've got some champagne in the I room, y'all. That's festive. <laughs> you know I always like to look at the charger situation, so we do have two regular outlets and two USB outlets. Nice little good-to-know paper and a QR directory. Ooh. No plugs that I can see by the beds. We got those little skinny lamps and some storage over to the side. And y'all, balcony life. So right now we're overlooking the port of Miami. We're on the starboard side, but it's the side that the port is on. So that confuses my brain a little bit, but. Mm -hmm. It's a nice little balcony. Now the fun thing about being on deck six, which I forgot about, is that when you look over the edge, you're actually looking down onto the extension of deck five. Deck five has this nice, beautiful sort of walky deck with lots of outdoor seating and all that stuff. So we're not directly overlooking the ocean from our balcony, but you know what? We still get all those gorgeous views. Yeah, you can see all the way down on deck five, it sticks out a little bit. I guess if you're up on a higher deck, you don't notice. But of course, if you're on a higher deck and you look down, you're still gonna see all this stuff. So I guess maybe they don't really have the balcony cabins that directly overlook the ocean, unless maybe you get a cove. I think those are down on like deck two. Hmm. Oh yes, let's take a little peeky in the bathroom while we're at it. Yes, hello corner shower with curtain, I remember you. We'll experience more of that as the week goes on. You've got your body wash and shampoo in the shower. Little toilety zone with lots of towels, shaving mirror or whatever the heck that mirror is, makeup mirror, shelves, and stuff. And on the television, we have the new muster process. Oh, you watched the safety video, which we are currently watching. Then the instructions went away, so we have to wait for them to come back. You know what? We'll just watch some safety video. There we go. Locate your muster station. Go to your muster station, and you check in with the team member there. So, we'll watch this video. What in the world? You probably need to listen to it, because I don't understand oh, Spanish. It can't be on mute. Yeah, Spanish subtitles, but <laughs> it can't on be mute. on mute, huh? That's not a good combo. Whatever, I did some Duolingo. I know some Spanish. I understand a lot yeah. of words. 
Oh, D is playing in the Hub app. Okay, what's new in the Hub app? Passenger mustering. What in the app? Food venue check-in and virtual queues. Ooh. Okay, muster station D4. That's fitting. I know. What's that? Oh, it's in the Meridian restaurant. We could do that. Yeah, we can go do that. And then it does have a video. So it is on the phone. Good. We had questions about, about how to do the life jackets. So same video on the phone as it is on the TV, so that's good. You don't have to have a phone, but, you know, it might... Actually, I don't know if it would help the process here. Hmm. Handy. Why is your phone alarm going off? Because you have to play the emergency <laughs> signal so you know what it sounds like in an event of an emergency. Nice. I mean, if I just hear lots of loud horns and beeping and stuff, I'm just going to run. I'm going to know that's some kind of signal. So then that part's done. Okay. What have you found now? Okay, the dining options. So you go under food specifically, uh, we have your time dining. Right. So we can check in for a table. You can make reservations at the specialty restaurants on your phone. Unless, of course, they're booked up, obviously. But True. that's pretty cool. And then some of them don't require reservations, it looks like. Ah, no, and I then you did go that. passenger <laughs> mustering. All right. I don't know about drinks, because it was saying on food you could order food. Virtual queues. There's something new. Oh, yeah, like maybe you could have stuff delivered, possibly, that wasn't deliverable before. We're learning all the stuff, okay? We are cruise newbies. Well, this is all new. And That's true. And we need to tell you guys so you'll know when you go on board. Um, so then there's virtual queues also, which I think is interesting. So you can queue up for the guest services desk. Okay. Or the adventures desk. Interesting. Which, like short excursions. Can I queue up for pizza? Uh -huh. Or burritos? Uh -huh. Or, you know, more useful stuff like that? In case you know I need my food. So this is your home page on the screen, and I was looking for how you order food now. So you actually just scroll to the bottom, <gasps> and it says food, food order. order. So let's click on that. Sushi stateroom delivery and ship deliveries. Oh, it's a room service. Oh, ship area. What can you get? Let's click ship area delivery. Oh, well, well I guess I'll pick deck six. Well, yeah, let's just pretend we're in the multiplex and we want some food. I'm here. Okay. Continue. <laughs> delivery. Sure. I just want to know what you can get. Oh. Chicken tenders, killer quesadilla. So it's like room service stuff. It's the paid room service Pizza, menu, kind cheese of. cheese steaks, buffalo wings. Wings. An apple tart. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Can they bring me an apple tart to the multiplex? Pizza. Okay, so that's about it. All right, no burritos. But then, like, sushi was an option, obviously. Oh, yeah. Huh. Bonsai sushi pickup. Okay. So they don't have everything on here yet. All right, y'all. You know what the first thing is that we're going to do? We're going to go see if we can get this daggone mustard over with. Because we don't want to be those people. No. We don't want to be the ones where they're like, please go to your mustard station. So we're going to the murder your dirty in restaurant since we watched the videos and we've done the thing. Yes. We are fully qualified. Thank you so much. We, we are always ready for fun. Always. All right, step one, life jacket demonstration. <gasps> All right, thank you. Oh, wow. Right here, then the warm up strap that you take it right around your waist and you strap it in. So don't leave it hanging in a bit. Okay. What? No, we're done. Okay, that was like the fastest thing ever. I love these new mustard drills. Just go get it over with. It's painless. It is. Do it because it's important. That was the creepiest lighting I have ever seen you have, and that was amazing. That was like a Halloween ad for life jackets. Cool. <laughs> All right, let's see. Well, now here we are on deck four, so I guess we'll just have us a little mosey. We'll get reacquainted with the Carnival Horizon. <laughs> wait now, wait, wait. All right, so here's the limelight. Little comedy club. Now, see, we've already done like a full, yeah, sanitizer. Uh, we've done a full ship tour video of the horizon. So, you know, we probably won't run around and look at everything right eventually now. We will. Well, eventually we will, yeah. Apparently, Muster Station C4 is here at the limelight. I think so. You got these little window seats. Usually, you have the photography by Mr. Radu. Also oh, funny, we've already run into Yogi, who yeah. we, we met on the Carnival Pride. He was our photographer we had a lot of fun with, and he's like, oh, I'm going to be sailing with you guys again. I follow him on Instagram and all that stuff. Actually, I think this is his office down here. He's the dream studio. He's the dream studio right? man. Yeah, I think this might be like, this could be his secret office, so. <gasps> Yogi! All right, we'll see. We'll find him again sometime. <laughs> the Skybox Sports Bar. I wouldn't really look at this too much on the horizon, I don't think. Oh, wow. That is a lot of sports in there. The casino, which is remarkably quiet. I mean, you know, granted it's like noon and there's not a ton of people on the ship. 
But some things that are oh. different in here is they took the bar out oh, the middle you're right. and added more machines and half is smoking and half is non-smoking. Right. Just for the vista and the horizon that I'm aware of though. So that's weird. Yeah, new protocols. Now they, the yeah, really, they don't have any machines blocked off. Like they said, they are not doing any social distancing. So every machine is available. Most of them are closed right now, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I believe somewhere in here in this sort of circular zone is where the bar was. And yeah, just a sea of machines now. Yeah. Gotta make that money. That's right, cash money. <laughs> Give me that cash. So lobby is up here, lots of party music. There's never a dull moment. The music never stops. That's the one thing that always sticks with me about Carnival. We're gonna do an atrium spin, you know what I mean? Kinda fast. I don't know if this is copyrighted music or not, but I'm gonna keep talking so that way we can trick those YouTube robots and they won't care. I feel like this is going to be one of the most videoed and documented cruises ever. Everywhere I see, there's like phones out, cameras out. We are adding to it. Oh, it is. Yeah. What do you got? Celebrations going for Independence Day. We should probably vlog somewhere with less noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a terrible idea. What? A, oh my gosh. You just can't be stopped. Every time I turn the camera off, you are dancing and laughing. And, laughing and Lionel Richie is here and everything is good. Yep. Yeah, that's you. We have made it to the outside decks. What the heck do we want to eat today? <laughs> it's bright, I know. Well, gosh, Dee just saw some friends, so she's gonna go say, hey, you know what place we never eat on Embarkation Day? It's Guy's Burgers. So we're gonna get a Guy's Burgers on Embarkation Day. Why not? Yeah, but everything up here is self-serve, which is, that's the way it's gonna be. Guys, burgers have been consumed. We're gonna wander in here to the gelato station because that is free and included. Oh yeah, we'll also take a little peek down the buffet line because like we said earlier, buffets and everything are totally self-serve. Jambalaya, meatball lasagna, sliced pepper steak, fish, chicken pot pie. Oh, that's cool. I've never paid attention to all the little hot sauces and things that they have. I know, I just, I'm just here for the gelato. Actually, we got a tip that Carnival is doing some kind of fun stuff with some cakes back here, so we'll come take a look at that first. Oh, look, okay, 4th of July Lido lunch cake. We just need to look at all this fanciness. These are awesome. These are like too good to eat. Maybe these are just the model cakes, and then they have some other ones that you don't eat. All right, we're so close to the outside now, we're just gonna jump out here and take a look out the back. Then maybe we'll eventually get some gelato. With a hat. Yo, no, that hat is awesome. She's been on a lot of She has, she puts her cards. Yeah, she hangs all of her cards on her hat. That's awesome. <laughs> so we got Seafood Shack, which uh, we just don't talk about Seafood Shack for reasons that get talked about in live streams. This is never on this ship. I know. If you know, you know about how the removal of the Tandor on certain ships broke my heart. Anyway, Tandor was never on horizon. I know. Whoa, party's happening out here too. Well, hello, Miami. We were kind of hoping the Mardi Gras would still be here today. I think it was actually off the front of the horizon, but from what I'm told, the Mardi Gras has moved out. We've got a Royal Caribbean hanging out back there. They all just bask in all this city of Miami gloriousnessnessness. Oh yeah, now what is this zone that we see off the back? Oh, this is the Havana deck down there. Yep, Havana pool and whirlpools. I think that's deck seven. Oh. Now you used to be able to go, everybody could use the Havana stuff after a certain time, but they've stocked that now? Is yeah, that, it used okay. to be after 7 p.m. anybody could, but now it is specifically for Havana guests. True, if you're or, staying in yeah. one of those types of cabins. Okay, I get it. I it's mean, an extra perk that you pay for. Makes it is, sense. it is. <laughs> Pretty cool, I think you can go look at it now though. No, just don't even, we're looking at it from above. Right there, you're looking at it now. That's right, <laughs> we're not even gonna look at it from close, we'll just look at it from far. We have footage of it in our other book. Oh yeah. If you, if, you watch our, if you watch our other 14 day horizon series, we <laughs> swam in that pool, I think, in the hot tub and stuff anyway. Yeah. All right, one more shot of the Havana because like I said, we don't know if we're gonna actually get down there and look at it or not. <laughs> Still got a big old line of folks waiting down there to come into the terminal to get on board. While we're passing by, I guess we'll take a look again. This is uh, the hand washing station here on Carnival. They have one right here by the seafood shack. There's a couple more up by the Lido and all that, but you just kind of put your hands in there. We'll demonstrate. No, you want to do it right now? All right, well, apparently we're going to demonstrate it right now. It's 
there's like a car wash for your hands. Now some of these they actually wash and dry. I'm pretty sure this is one that only washes and then you use the paper towels. And then you throw the paper towels in here like this nice little man is demonstrating. Mango and tiramisu. All right, we have definitely come back to check out this gelato. See, they still got all the toppings down here. So they are assisting with the service of the toppings. What goes well on tiramisu? Would you like some more? Um, sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. If you if you suggest it, I will say yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, he cut me off at almonds and brownies, but that's perfect. Gelato cam. Oh, there's another hand sanitizer uh, washer station. Interrupted my gelato cam. We're heading back to the cabin. Ah, these suitcases. There, your suitcase is the winner today. I never win. Update, y'all. This is like the best tiramisu gelato I've ever tasted. It's, it's so really good. good today, and I've had it on Carnival before, so they like. It's like ice cream shop quality. Yeah, and Go it's ahead. free. <laughs> anyway, D suitcase got a little dented in delivery, but it's okay. <laughs> Poor little thing. We it's won't. It's character, right? That's what that's what we say. <laughs> yeah, you character. can tell it's a well-traveled suitcase. And I can say it was on the first cruise. On Carnival. That's right. Your suitcase um, got damaged on the first cruise. Florida. Yeah. It's right. memories. Yeah, you know, we're going to let her unpack. Maybe my suitcase <laughs> will show up. We'll see y'all in a minute. Hey guys, hey. welcome to Couch Chat with D and J. We're all unpacked. Yes. You're welcome. I know. <laughs> we were going to try to record this out on the balcony, but as soon as we stepped outside, no. boom, the lens humidified. So We will enjoy some time out there and take we you guys will. out there at some point. Just not yet. But anyway, so any little more updates along the way? I know the check-in process, you know, we kind of glaze through stuff. Mm -hmm. You can't record in the terminal and all that, but it was really smooth and streamlined. For us, it was smooth. I did hear some people not so much, and I think part of the problem was people were arriving way before appointment times uh, and things like that and kind of gumming up the works. Yeah, that's one thing you can't yeah. do anymore is to arrive early. You really right. need to get here when your time says these days. Mm -hmm. uh, so people on the horizon you heard had yeah, trouble? Yeah, oh, some gosh. other fellow passengers, like they, other people, People, they were getting people in from the heat no matter what their time was oh, so other people who had the right time were stuck outside well, shoot. so not really fair to those that did what they were supposed to do I guess. but I mean we just walked right yeah. in um, they actually were on 11 o'clock mm -hmm. when we showed up at 10 30 to go in so they were running a little bit fast yeah it was super fast but we just walked in they were like boom there was people were ready and mm -hmm. waiting for us breezed right through so you know you had to show your passport or your birth certificate and all right. that stuff you had to show your vaccine card if yes. you're doing the vaccinated thing we did the whole program calls video mm -hmm. that I mentioned that talks about what you have to do if you're not vaccinated <laughs> right now but it was easy super simple yeah security then you just go show your stuff again check in and then they call show you by stuff. whatever boarding zone you get yeah which we were boarding zone a1 Ooh. like the steaks house <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so and everything's kind of like normal so far. I, Nothing seems yeah. out of the norm, out of the ordinary. Other than you know yeah. now, we have, now you have e muster, which we love. I love that. Please and keep that carnival. Some new things on the app I'm noticing here and there, like please keep um, those too. Build a bear workshop specifically. You do have to make reservations for it. Okay. And I think it's because it's a child's activity, yes. which makes sense. So we'll okay. see if shows are the same. So far, I haven't seen that, though, that you yeah. have to reserve them. But I think we're going to go try to see the welcome show tonight. Yes. We're going to try to do a lot more stuff, and we'll just let you know how it goes. I've already highlighted, like, 25 things Heck I want to do. yeah, she jumped on there. She's like, look at all these activities I want to do. I'm so happy. Anyway, we here. Y'all, we we're have family. Got, we have got 14 days at Olive Garden when you're here with your family. <laughs> don't Please don't me. steal Olive Garden's catchphrase for our videos. <laughs> Y'all, you're here. We're family. Oh, my gosh. Brr. I'm giddy. <laughs> 14 days coming on the Carnival Horizon, so please stick with us. Yeah. Subscribe, ding the bell. You know what to do with all that YouTube stuff. Come back. We'll have a deck party more fun. Woo. Yeah, but anyway. <laughs> so, we're going to go do some more stuff. We're going to get out of this cabin, and we're going to go look at some stuff. So Let's do it. Yeah.